Welcome to St. John's of Laddingtown. We're glad you're here with us on this Wednesday in August. Uh, I have to say especially we're glad if you live in the New York area and the Long Island, uh, Nassau County, specifically because uh, we have been without power for a while. And uh, Mr. Chris Brain and I are, are in church today giving thanks to God for power finally here. And I hope that you're safe and, and have survived well. But Today, I'd like for us to change things up just slightly uh, and skip forward in uh, the Episcopal Church calendar. Those of you that like to follow through the day-by-day -day, uh, calendar in the Episcopal Church is, is lovely. And today, though, I want to move forward just slightly because uh, I want us to think about and remember one of the most courageous uh, Christians, really, that uh, I can imagine in our lifetime here in America is Jonathan Myrick Daniels. Jonathan Daniels, you'll remember, um, was a seminarian in the Episcopal Church in the Boston area. He uh, grew up in Keene, New Hampshire. And uh, one day he heard uh, a call uh, from uh, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Actually, it was a, um, a television interview on CBS News with uh, the great Walter Cronkite. Those of you, that's a name from the past, but uh, Walter Cronkite was uh, a great Episcopalian from Houston area, just as an aside. So anyway, uh, Jonathan Daniels heard uh, Dr. King that day call for workers to come to the South and particularly to uh, my home state of Alabama to help register um, voters. And uh, I, I think uh, you will remember too, unfortunately, uh, he was murdered by a white supremacist on August the 20th, 1965. Uh, I'm gonna give you a little bit more background of where that happened and some of the circumstances. But first, uh, let us pray. O oh God of justice and compassion, you put down the proud and mighty from their place and lift up the poor and the afflicted. We give you thanks for your faithful witness, Jonathan Myrick Daniels, who in the midst of injustice and violence risked and gave his life for another. And we pray that we, following his example, may make no peace with oppression. Through Jesus Christ, the one who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever, So Jonathan Daniels, as I said, uh, responded to Dr. King's call. And as you remember this past Sunday, Jesus called his disciples over the, the seas, the rough seas, out into mission. That's really important because Jonathan, um, as far as we know, is telling um, Walter Cronkite that he had never been to Alabama, but since in his work in seminary, this was the right time to respond. And so on this particular time that he was there, he was in an area called Lowndes County, uh, Hainville, Alabama, which uh, is not far from Montgomery, middle of the state, a very, very isolated area. And uh, he was arrested, uh, trumped up charges. Uh, several people were arrested and put in jail for uh, nearly three days, I think. And then suddenly the, um, uh, let him out unexpectedly uh, in the middle of the day. And so Jonathan and uh, a wonderful woman uh, by the name of Ruby Sales, uh, who was helping him, uh, were let out and, and went to a local grocery store. And on the steps of that grocery store, once they were let out of jail, um, this uh, retired uh, construction worker, Tom Coleman, was his name, uh, met them and uh, an argument ensued. And at the last moment, uh, the man grabbed a gun and Jonathan pulled Ruby out of the way and he was shot and killed. Jonathan was killed by Tom Coleman and saved Ruby's life. And so as the, the story goes um, through the years, Ruby, uh, went on to be quite a, a, an amazing woman, still is, uh, based in Atlanta. She has um, uh, founded and is the director of, of an organization called Spirit House, which is 
uh, if you would Google and, and get a little information about them, you really should uh, and help support. Because what they do is really create uh, in a spiritual context uh, and reaching out to diverse communities and carrying on that same mission uh, and calling that Dr. King and people like Jonathan Daniels and others uh, worked so hard and gave their life for in the 60s. Ruby Sales, I hope you'll get to, to learn more about her. What I would like to close with though too is, uh, is a priest in the church and certainly as a lay person in, in the Gulf Coast area. Um, we made uh, annual pilgrimages right at this time of the year from all parts of the South to that particular town, to Hainville, and would go to the old courthouse where um, this Tom Coleman supposedly was tried. He was acquitted by an all-white male journey, uh, jury, uh, found not guilty for the murder of, of Jonathan Daniels. In that same courthouse today, pilgrims will come and uh, it's beautiful. Episcopalians lead with Roman Catholics and Lutherans and, and others, and they'll hold a worship service there. And a few years ago, I had a chance to hear Ruby Sales preach from the bench where the judge rendered that uh, terrible verdict. Um, amazing, moving uh, experience. I hope one day too, if you're in that area, to see the Civil Rights Museum in Birmingham, and then also um, to visit uh, Hainville, Alabama. There's a, a wonderful uh, memorial there. So Jonathan Daniels and that story, and giving his life uh, for the gospel and for truth and for justice. Let us today, I think, um, think of, of the world around us which calls out for, for peace, uh, for reconciliation, uh, for love of neighbor, for understanding uh, of difference, uh, and to find uh, the healing grace of Christ in the work uh, that each of us have to do, that we're called to do. Let us pray about that, consider what our calling is. Um, I hope you'll join with me now and lifting up uh, those that are imprisoned, um, political prisoners, uh, those uh, prisoners of war in this country and around the world, um, those that uh, seek to bring healing and renewal. Let us now offer our prayers for those important loved ones in your life too, either silently or aloud. And now in the words that Jesus taught us, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. So thank you so much for joining us today at St. John's. I hope you will have uh, a great rest of your day on this Wednesday. And, and please let us know uh, how we can pray for you and your loved ones by leaving a comment uh, below here online. We'd love to hear from you. And may the Almighty and Merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit bless us and keep us this day and always.